Hi guys, we are doing magnetic fields for loops and solenoids. So you're gonna have two videos. One is for the demonstrations and the second one will be for the actual notes. So if you recall, last time we had a single wire. I put it on a compass, put some electricity on it, you saw the compass move. And we learned that if you run the electricity vertical, we look at it from the end, current goes up and it goes down, we have different clockwise and counterclockwise directions. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna take my, my straight wire here and all I'm gonna do is turn it into a loop. That's the first thing. So what I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna bring this into view and you can see this from side that it is a loop and I have compasses all around the edges. And you have to remember that the current in one side is gonna go up and then it's gonna go down. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. That's probably as good as I'm gonna get for right this second and go a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the battery. And again, I only do this for a few seconds because it really does draw a lot of current in this wire. So notice there all the red arrows are pointing straight the same direction. So I'm gonna gonna connect this except <laughs> one of my wires came off. So let me reconnect it. Give me one second. Turn my lighting back on. There we go. All right, let's try that again. So I'm gonna connect one of the wires. I have a lot of wires here right now, just so you know. So I want you to notice that this side is going counterclockwise and all of the red arrows here on this side are going clockwise. So if you look, I'll do it one more time. I want you to notice in the center, sorry, I'm twisting it a little bit on you. This arrow is pointing this way, this arrow is pointing, they're in the same direction in the inside. If I reverse it, I'm just loosen them up. We're gonna move the connections of my wire on my battery, I'm just gonna swap them directions. Maybe, maybe not. You're gonna see this one is now clockwise. This one is counter, but in the middle, both of them are pointing the same direction. Okay, all I did was take a single wire and twist it into a loop. So what happens if you have more loops? Well, give me just a second to move this out of the way. I will bring in my next thing. All right, I have this. So let me turn it sideways first. It's a giant loop. I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit. And on this ring is loops of wire. So I'm gonna turn it this way, and I'm gonna put a compass in the middle, just enough so you can see it. And then I'm gonna connect my wires to these. It actually connects down here on the sides. And again, I don't have my battery totally connected yet. There we go. So again, I've just moved this off to the side. There's, I believe there's 15 loops of wire here. So I'm going to connect my electricity. Now the compass is wiggling, but note, which way is the green arrow pointing? It's over here, it's pointing to this side. It's one way, okay? When I don't have the electricity on, it goes back to normal. So in my videos, my north of my house is this way. That's why all the colors always point that way when I don't have electricity running. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it. All I did was change the battery connections on making the current go the other way. And now you see the green arrow pointing to the left. So instead of one loop, I have 15 loops. And what's happening is when the electricity is running, it's causing a magnetic field to form on the inside. All right, next one. This is lots and lots and lots of loops. It is called a solenoid, S-O-L-E-N-O-I-D. It sounds like I'm so annoyed, but I'm not. So I'm gonna put a compass here. I'm gonna put a compass here. You should be able to see them. Here they are. You can see that's my battery over there. Notice when I connect them, I'm connecting the electricity. It's not super strong, but the red is pointing towards the right. It's not super strong over here, partly because that's angled. 
Now notice they didn't move very fast or very, you know, they kind of wiggle until you see the spot. So I'm going to reverse the current and now you should see the reds pointing to the left. You know, it's not exact. I could go a little closer and it might be a little stronger. What's happening inside this coil is you're making what's called an electromagnet. And right now, the only thing inside of here is air. If I want to make the magnet stronger, I need to put in something that has high permeability. This is an alloy. It's not total iron. Okay. But I want you to notice the difference when I turn these. I'm going to move these away a little bit. When I turn the electricity on, you can see that they move very, very quickly. I'm going to flip it so you can see it go the other way as well. And as a matter of fact, it's so strong that it can actually mess up my compasses and cause them, I'll let it set, they're very wild here. So now you can see they're pointing, but as soon as I put something in the middle of the solenoid, it makes the magnetic field so much stronger. Okay, last one to show you. And there's my, let's see, my compasses are still good, is this. All right, let me bring it close. I don't, you can see some of this tape rubbed off, but in here it's lots and lots of coils of copper wire and it's on metal. Again, you never really see somebody make a magnet, an electromagnet without metal on it because it just makes it so much stronger. I'm gonna put these two, not too close, because when I put the electricity on them, it makes it very strong. I'm gonna move that glare a little bit so you can see. This one's wrapped one way, one's wrapped the other way. So let me connect a wire to each one. Sorry for my hands being in the way. All right, there. So I'm gonna tap the electricity, boom. Again, anytime I'm doing this, I'm making a magnetic field. You notice these are opposite. This red's this way, that red's that way. If I switch it, I'm just changing which plus, which one gets plus and which one gets minus, they switch. Earlier, when I brought these super close, they actually, flip the domains of my compasses, so that's kind of why I don't have them that close. But you can see that the magnetic field overcomes the, overcomes the Earth's magnetic field. See, I turn the electricity off. It does take a minute, compasses are wiggly, and they face back to north. All right, the next part is gonna be the written part, and I'm gonna to refer to these.